Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a review for a Lush shampoo bar here for you beauties. Okay, everybody knows that I have done a few product reviews out here on my channel on the brand uh, Lush Cosmetics. I really am addicted to shampoo bars. I love shampoo bars. I love conditioner bars. I really, really love shampoo bars. Okay, first off, let me state that I have been using shampoo bars for years. Oh my goodness. Now, not so much the Lush brand shampoo bars. I have used homemade shampoo bars. Shampoo bars sold from Etsy, shampoo bars sold online, uh, Chagrin uh, Valley, just various brands, a lot of online uh, shampoo bar makers. My favorites are a handful of makers, soap makers and sellers on Etsy, and I love their shampoo bars. So I have been, over the years, somewhat of a shampoo bar aficionado, if you will, and I have used a bazillion kinds, bazillion ingredients in them, bazillion soap makers have made them you name it so i come in within the last year or so uh started to use the lush uh, shampoo bars now i have been very hesitant to use the lush shampoo bars previous because they do contain sodium laurel sulfate in the shampoo bars now for the last several years all the other shampoo bars i've been using do not have sodium laurel sulfate i have been very strict about that because i figure why go to the trouble and, uh, you know, the discrepancy of using a shampoo bar if it has sodium lauryl sulfate in it? So anyhow, and I'm just going to, broken record information, just to reiterate quick information. I contacted Lush Cosmetics a few years ago, and I asked them, were they ever going to start making at least one or two shampoo bars that does not contain sodium lauryl sulfate? Basically, they told me no, that their shampoo bars contain do contain sodium lauryl sulfate, and it looks like in the future they are going to continue to contain sodium lauryl sulfate. So, anyhow, I went ahead and bit the bullet a year, year and a half ago and started buying, trying, and using a few here and there Lush shampoo bars, despite the fact they do contain sodium lauryl sulfate. So, Anyhow, uh, that was just one of the uh, reasons why it took me so long to get around to buying, trying, and using Lush shampoo bars. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this review here. This one is the Copperhead uh, Lush shampoo bar, and this comes in a 1.9 fluid ounce bar. Basically, these are the size of a puck, if you will. Um, that's, you know, <laughs> that's what we call them. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to say hockey puck because they're not obviously not that big, but just a, basically a puck size bar, 1.9 fluid ounces. Okay, I actually, when I went into the Lush store many, 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 many weeks ago I bought two of these because I thought they did smell yummy I thought they smelled delicious and I wanted to go ahead and stock up so I paid uh, $11.95 plus tax per bar now the first copperhead shampoo bar I used actually crumbled I mean I got very few usages out of it it crumbled it fell apart it was just talk about cookie crumble now what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and insert real quick a picture of my first Copperhead shampoo bar, the first one I started using, because it just crumpled and fell apart, and it was a mess. Okay, very disappointing. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a few pictures of it crumpled within here. Okay, now, anyhow, so I bought two bars of the Copperhead Shampoo Bars. The first one just crumpled, fell apart on me like so. Okay, so this is the second bar. Now, this bar has not been uh, crumpling. It has not really been falling apart. It has been... Um, is worn down very fast. I have got just a few washings out of it, not many, and I find it really disappearing very quickly. And I take very good care of my shampoo bars in between washings. I completely remove them away from the bathroom, out of the bathroom, away from all moisture. I dry these out. Sometimes I will put these in a, a soap dish that has holes at the bottom of the soap dish for the soap to actually drain out. 
and I leave the lid off and I let air circulation get to my shampoo bars and I let them completely dry out. I never ever leave them in a moisturous situation in the bathroom or in the shower or anything like that. So I really dry them out and take care of them and uh, maintain their integrity and their life in between shampooing and washings. So I took real good care of my first bar, but like I said, it just crumpled. It was a muck, a mess. This is the second bar. I really like the smell of it. The smell is very pleasant. It's not extremely overpowering, but then again, it's not low key either. It does have the smell of coffee grounds. Um, so if you'd like the smell of coffee, you're definitely going to like the smell of this. It has a citrus slash coffee smell to it, if you will. So anyhow, um, this product is supposed to be moisturizing. It has henna in it, and it does have crushed coffee grounds within there somewhere. And I assume the henna and the coffee grounds is what makes it look uh, brownish in appearance. And it's supposed to be one of the moisturizing formulas. And yeah, it just basically says it has roasted coffee grounds in it and all that good stuff. Now, um, it does have sodium lauryl sulfate in it. I know I keep reiterating that, but it is true because I have been a user of shampoo bars, love shampoo bar for bars for years and really do not see the point of shampoo bars having to have sodium lauryl sulfate, sulfate in them okay so anyhow this bar this copperhead says it is good for um, colored hair um, dyed hair all that good stuff i do have color treated hair it has not faded out my color at all so I do think it has, yes, maintained my hair color. It has maintained my highlights and all that good stuff. So I think that has been a plus or a bonus for this product. And it does smell good. And I do find it, I find it semi-moisturizing. It is not overly moisturizing for my hair. And I have dry, damaged hair. So I've really got to use moisturizing products. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I have dry, damaged hair. And I've got to use moisturizing shampoos, products of that nature. It is not overly moisturizing it is semi moisturizing so it does an okay job of moisturization it does an okay job overall of shampooing my hair this is definitely not the best product i've ever used i can tell you that hands down it is a mediocre product it is an okay product it does have sodium lauryl sulfate and it does have propylene glycol in it so it does have some questionable iffy ingredients that i really particularly do not agree with so Propylene glycol and sodium lauryl sulfate. If you're okay with those two uh, chemicals or those two ingredients, this bar would be okay for you to use. Uh, what I do like about the brand Lush is they are cruelty free and they're not testing animals. So I love that. Uh, and I do give the company a big thumbs up for that. Now, I do still hold out hopes of someday they possibly, possibly, possibly will make a shampoo bar that does not have SLSs in them and does not hopefully have propylene glycol in them. So let's keep our fingers crossed to hold out hope. So anyhow, that's my thoughts and my feelings here on the uh, Copperhead Lush Cosmetics Shampoo Bar. Semi-moisturizing, it is a so-so product. It is an okay product. Will I rebuy this product? No. I will not. Okay, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Be sure to check out all my other hair care product reviews and videos out here. Be sure to share my videos. Big thumbs up. Big hugs. Much love. Bye now.